It's two what's and a wow! With your hosts, Mindy and Guy Raz. Two what's, 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 and a wow! Hello, and welcome back to Two What's and a Wow! Two what's and a wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what? The category for today is trees. Mindy, why don't you remind our audience on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about trees. But, and this is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congrats, you get a point. But if you guess wrong, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's get started. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, cinnamon is made out of tree bark? Or is it B, scientists have discovered palm trees in Antarctica? Or is it C, the white cedar is the fastest growing tree which grows at 16 feet per year? When you think you have the correct answer, hide it under the nearest couch cushion. Reggie, cue the thinking music. (laughs) And time is up. It's now time to reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Juliana from California. Juliana, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that humans made out of tree bark. Winner, winner, photosynthesis for dinner! Thank you, Juliana. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that cinnamon is made from tree bark, You found the winning wow. Congratulations. The cinnamon you find in your grocery store has a long journey before it gets to that shelf. Before it becomes a spice, it's scraped from the inner bark of tree species from the genus Cinnamomum. Try saying that 10 times fast. Cinnamomum, 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 Not now, Mindy. Oh, right. Um, uh, now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and ask the nearest grandma to cut some cheese. Did somebody want me to cut the cheese? No, no! <laughs> That's my grandma G-Force! Oh, yeah. And for the record, that can also mean asking a grandma to cut you some real cheese with a knife. Less fun, but okay. Well, now it's time for round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, scientists believe trees could grow on Venus? Or is it B, trees can communicate with each other through mushrooms? Or is it C, more than half of all tree species live in the United States? When you think you have the correct answer, share it with the nearest dentist. What was that? Did someone say my name? (sighs) Uh, no. Oh, well, all right then. Hey, Reggie, (laughs) cue the thinking music. Time is up. It's time to reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Niall. Niall, 
What's the wow? My wow is that did you know trees can talk to each other because they have mushrooms? Winner, winner, tree trunks for dinner! Thank you, Niall. Contestants, if you guessed the answer B, that trees can communicate through mushrooms, you found the winning wow. Congratulations! There's a network of fungus like mushrooms that work together to move water and nutrients between trees. The trees can use these networks to communicate with one another, kind of like how they would if they had social media, except they don't need to log on. <laughs> that was a good one, Mindy. Thank you, Guy Razi. Now, if you did not guess the correct answer for round two, you must stop, drop, and brush your teeth with mustard. Ooh. Hey, I don't make this stuff up. Yes, you do. Today's episode of Two What's in a Wow is brought to you in part by Joe's Toe Jam. When your toes are in a jam, call Joe. All right, then. Time for round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way? Or is it B, some trees don't make any noise when they fall? Or is it C, redbud trees drink on average 200 gallons of water a day? When you think you have the correct answer, sing it in the lowest note you can sing. Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Joining us by phone, it's Owen from Washington. Owen, tell us, what's the wow? My wow is that there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way. Winner, winner, star dust for dinner! Thank you, Owen! Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in the Milky Way, you found the winning wow. Congratulations, wowzers! Even though there are an estimated 100 to 400 billion stars in our Milky Way, there are still more trees on Earth. It's estimated that there are around 3 trillion trees on this planet. That's about 379 trees per person. That's incredible. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and lick your elbow. <laughs> What was that? That sound can mean only one thing, Guy Raz. There's an elephant in the room? Uh, no, and if there was, we wouldn't talk about it. Uh... That sound means it's time for today's Bunker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is... Who do you tell your best friend that you accidentally borrowed his state-of-the-art blender for an experiment and you accidentally blended one too many eggshells, so you accidentally broke it. You... you broke my Smoothinator 3000? How am I supposed to make my kale apple press juices, Mindy? Uh, you can use my plunger? It's really good at mashing things up. Mindy! Well, congratulations to all of our winning wowzers on today's show. Reggie, it's time to roll out the prize generator. Is that my washing machine? I invented this machine to generate a fabulous parting gift for all of the contestants on today's show. This machine is special because it spits out your prize in three different parts every time. And also, it's broken. In other words, we're still improving on the engineering design process. Oh, yeah, that too. But feel free to mix and match and assemble the prize in any way you want. Reggie, get ready to crank it up in three, two, one! All of our winning contestants today will be taking home their very own... Invisible! Soggy! Toilet! Sandwich! Mindy, this might be our 
number one worst prize ever. Yeah, I think it's more like number two. <laughs> well, uh, that's just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little steam-themed challenge for you. We call it Operation Take It or Leaf It. Wowzers, we challenge you to embark on a leaf scavenger hunt. First, find as many different types of leaves as you can. And then bring your leaves home to examine them closer. What are the different shapes and sizes? Do they have different patterns? Record your findings with a photo or video and report back to us. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two Whats and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing!